Hey there everyone! Welcome to my channel Kibis Collectibles. My name is Pam and today we are headed out the door. We're going to visit three different Goodwills to see if we can find some fun home decor and a few things that I can resell in my booth. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment. Tell me what you would have picked up in today's video. Make sure you come back to my channel on Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern for a live sale that I'm having with Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. Beth has a fun channel, so head on over and check her out. But in the meantime, Go ahead and grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's go shopping. This particular piece was made in Czechoslovakia. It looks as if that handle could be used as a spout, maybe like an individual creamer or a little teapot. This looks like a desk organizer. Oh, look at that. Look at the hand carving on the front. I love that. This is definitely a contemporary piece. It's a desk organizer made by the company World Market. I think it's got a great boho feel to it. Oh, check this out. This looks like an Italian piece. Maybe this is an oil or a vinegar cruet, but it doesn't have a stopper. I love finding these wooden hand carved pieces. This is a gorgeous giraffe. Upon closer inspection, I did notice that one of its ears had been broken off, and that's so sad. Now here's another cruet. This is Temptations. This was in really good condition. I love that it has its own caddy. This was a fun and definitely unique cookie jar. I've never seen this one before, and I don't even know what it is supposed to be. If you know, drop me an answer down in the comment section below. Hmm, what is this? Some type of tapestry? Let's see. Okay, oh wow, this is a calendar. Oh wow, it has that Dutch-German feel to it. Y'all, this is in great condition from 1982. How cute is this? I like to make sure I check original packaging. You never know what you may find. This is a bowl called a Fintech bowl. That's the pattern, Fintech. And it is made by Jeanette. These were sweet little pictures. The frames were plastic, but you could tell they were definitely older. This is one of those macrame Christmas trees, but I've never seen one that had little pine cones on it before. This is totally different from what I'm used to seeing. What do you think about the pine cones on this macrame Christmas tree? I found something else in its original package. This is called a hand carved molded wood. It's like a bowl, a little platter, and it's by Decor A Wood. It has that treasure craft look to it. This looks like it's one of those pieces of Homeco or Sirocco, that plastic wall decor. Goodness, this is cute. This is a Southern living piece. It's contemporary. I love this plate with the dome on top. Oh, it's so adorable. Mm -hmm. 
take a look at this fun planter. I love the wire, the geometric shape there. It has a Greek feel to me. I came across these hand-blown vases. They look like different vases, Jack in the Pulpit. They all had UPC codes, and after really looking at these, they just didn't seem to be high quality. These organizing caddies are always a great pickup, perfect for your art room, your craft room. These are very expensive if you buy them retail price. And all you have to do is just clean this up and bam, you've got a great piece. I found this brass tray and let me tell you that I did not pick this up and I do not know why I didn't. I do have a few brass trays already, maybe that's why but I like the way this one looked. I found some ceramic fruit. That banana looks real, doesn't it? Next to that fruit, I saw this bowl of Christmas ornaments and that blue one intrigued me. It looks like it might be mercury glass. This is a cookie press of Noah's Ark, and my favorite part was the dove and the olive branch. I found another piece in its original packing. This time, it's a nativity scene. I love that these pieces are plush, and this would be great in a kid's room for Christmas or a nursery. I just think it's so precious. I liked this plastic butter dish, but a lot of the original paint on the front where those flowers are was missing, so I left this one behind. These thermoses are great to pick up for Christmas decor. This also reminds me of Carol from My Blessed Nest. She does collect these types of thermoses and she has a really fun channel. It's one of my favorites, so go check her out, My Blessed Nest. The infamous blue bowed goose. I think this is a cookie jar. I'm not quite sure. What do you think this is? I loved this teapot, especially that image of the cardinal on the front. I thought the handle was kind of cute. It had that tree branch look to it. This one was originally from Home Goods. This was a beautiful painting. It did have a lot of issues with the frame, and I just wasn't interested in taking it somewhere to have that fixed, so I left this piece behind.
these pieces of marble that you will find in the Goodwill stores are always useful for crafting. You can put your hot glue gun on it and so many other uses. I had to lean down a little bit to see this turkey at the back of the shelf. And inside of the turkey, there were these tiny little teapot napkin rings. I thought they were so cute. I found this hand-blown water carafe. It had a tag on it, so I know it had already been in an antique booth somewhere. They had it priced for $39, but Goodwill had it priced a little bit less. $4.95, not a bad deal. I thought this was a beautiful trinket box. It says Silent Night on the bottom. And this bud vase caught my eye. It's made by Napco Wear in Japan. This had that crackle crazed effect to it. And I thought this plate was really cool. Here was a tiny hand carved wooden trinket box. and some dishes that look like they were straight out of the 70s. I loved this wooden decor piece. The only thing that got me was this chunk out of the base. Maybe a dog was gnawing on it, I'm not sure, but I left this one behind. The first thing I would like to share with you is this really cool desk organizer. It's great for letters and your pens and pencils. I love that it's wooden and it has that hand carved design on the front. Next, I purchased the Napco Wear Bud Vase from Japan. I liked this crackle look that it had. I thought it was an interesting shape. It gave me a mid-century modern vibe, and I'm going to be selling this one in my booth. I decided to get the nativity scene just because it was plush. It was really adorable, and I think this will be great to sell during the Christmas season, especially if you have little ones around the house. This would be a fun nativity for them. This calendar tapestry was so much fun. When we brought it home, my husband looked at it for a long time. It is so cute. I love the pictures on the front. It's from 1982, and I'm going to be selling this one in my booth as well. Next, I picked up all of these beautiful Christmas ornaments. A few of them were definitely hand-blown, like this one, and some were just cute like this little snowman. I thought this broccoli, it is made of glass, it was adorable. And my most favorite, this one that I am keeping is this blue mercury glass. I am so excited to find all these wonderful items and I'm thankful that you went along with me. If you enjoyed this video and love this type of content, please subscribe to my video, leave me a thumbs up and a comment below. Until next time, my friends, thank you. Bye-bye.